Hey everyone, welcome to the 41 Strong Podcast. My name is Chuck Tate. 41 Strong is a podcast that delivers encouraging scriptures and stories to help you hold on and stand strong. For more information about 41 Strong, you can go to my website, chuckytate.com. Well, today is episode 114, and I have some in-studio guests. They are Elena Shafley and Caitlin Apwan, right? I got it. Did I say it right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, Elena and Caitlin, welcome to 41 Strong. Great to have you guys here. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Yes, absolutely. So, um, um, Elena, we'll start with you. All right. You are with Dream Center Peoria, mm-hmm, Ace, something called Ace Teams, which we're going to unpack and yep. We're going to talk about mm-hmm. ACE teams, and you are the director of ACE teams. Yes. So real quick, why don't you um, first just, just tell us a little bit of information about yourself, and then why don't you introduce um, Caitlin formally, and then yeah. we'll find out some information about her, awesome. and then we'll find out what, what's ACE teams, what's the Dream Center, yeah. what's discipleship, and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Well, um, I am from Peoria, and I started at the Dream Center about two years ago now. Um, with ACE Teams, and I actually went through the ACE Teams program, which we'll explain a little more about here soon. Um, And so it's been kind of full circle for me, um, just being here and getting to kind of explain a little bit about it. Um, Yeah, so. Cool. All right. And um, recently engaged, right? Yes, all right. recently Congratulations. engaged. Well, kind of not recently. Kind of, all right. It's been a while now, <laughs> okay. but yeah. No date yet, which everyone keeps asking. Um, <laughs> we're just going with the flow. Um, but yes, so we yeah. Can't, we can't have you give us give us a date right now live. Just like, okay. No, all right, all I right. wish. Yeah, yeah. no. Right. No, but yes, my fiance's name is Anthony, um, and we've been together for almost two years now. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. Lots Yay. of new things. All right. <laughs> Happy for you. Thank you. In fact, when you were an ACE team member yourself before you became the director, um, you and your team actually served at, at our church yep, for, at for a church. month. That's yep. In fact, that's how I met you. One of my favorite months, actually. <laughs> yep, uh, yep, one of my favorite months, which... Um, yeah, that month at your church led to a lot of really awesome stuff that God did in my life and opportunities for me. So it was, yeah, it was really awesome. awesome. So, Very cool. Yeah, you did World Race. Yep, World well, Race. And that's a whole other podcast, Yes, right? which, yeah. Um, <laughs> and being at your church, that's how I found out about it. And um, so, yeah, yeah, I got to travel overseas for a couple of years after ACE teams um, and just do some ministry work and um, and then I was asked to come back after and um, start the ACE team program again because it had kind of, um, there wasn't anyone to really take over it. And so um, they asked me to come back and start it. So we've been trying to get it, you know, kind of established in the Dream Center again. And um, Caitlin is our second year um, program. So last year we had five students and then this year we've had Caitlin, um, which has been really neat. Um, it's been different because normally ACE teams has a group of people um, involved and you have that kind of community aspect, but for Caitlin, it's been more of just one-on-one with me. Um, and, and then, you know, people who've been teaching her. So, um, yeah, and we can kind of get, do you want me to unpack what ACE Teams is? So, (laughs) So, well, first of all, um, Caitlin, welcome. So, so, so we were talking before the studio, so I know where you're from, but why don't you tell us where you're from and a little, a little bit of information about yourself. So I'm actually from Mesa, Arizona, and uh, last year I was a student at Bradley, and this year actually would have been my senior year, but I felt I was being led to join ACE teams, and so, I mean, I'm technically from Arizona, but I've been here for over a year now. Okay, Mm -hmm. all right, cool, and we're talking so, because I'm from Arizona originally. Yeah. (laughs) I always tell people, where are you from? Arizona, but, you know, I moved here when I was in eighth grade, but um, but anyway, I've been kind of all over the map and get to go back to Arizona every single year, so it's kind of cool that you're from you're from Mesa, the Valley of the Sun. Oh, and, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> too, so. much sun. <laughs> <laughs> too much sun. But it's a dry heat. Yeah, don't give us that. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Heard so, that enough yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. So then a Bradley student, and that led you to ACE teams. I'm also a big Bradley basketball fan. In fact, our producer, yeah. Mike Sable, um, uh, oftentimes um, is, produces for WMBD during the Bradley 
um, basketball cast. So Mike giving you a shout oh. out right now. Um, <laughs> but cool. um, go Braves, go Braves. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, but now you are on the ACE teams. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to you, Elena. Why don't you just um, tell us what, what, what's ACE teams for those that are unfamiliar? Yeah, so ACE teams stands for Active Christian Evangelism. Um, and See, I didn't even know that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, now you wow. know. It's an acronym. <laughs> um, yeah, and really just the purpose of ACE teams, it's, it's a year-long program for young adults out of high school, ages 18 to 25. Um, and really it's just a ministry training and discipleship uh, program. So it kind of gives um, young adults the chance to devote a year of their life to the Lord and just seek after what he has for them, th his plan for their life, and just kind of start to unpack that, discover more who they are in the context of ministry. And, you know, along that journey, they, you know, Caitlin is coming to the end actually this week of her training portion of the program. So okay. it's three months of um, training every day, lectures with different pastors, ministry leaders, um, business people, just all around this area, kind of pouring into her just some wisdom and knowledge and, um, you know, just, you know, maybe some personal development stuff, but also just some really solid biblical um, truth that she's been able to kind of unpack. We've been able to unpack together. Um, I'm kind of, I'll, I am a mentor to Caitlin through this whole process um, this year. And so that's been really awesome. Um, and then this next portion of the year, so the next seven months, she will be traveling. Mm. Um, so now kind of like what she's learned, all the things that she's been trained in, she's now going to take on the road. Um, and she's going to travel each month to a different location, a different church, and just serve there. Um, and these these churches are coming up with a program and kind of their own, you know, what they want the month to look like for her. So they're going to get her plugged into different ministries, um, train her. You know, it's it's another part of the training. So it's not like she just had three months of training and now she knows everything. So it's just it's all a part of this growing process. And hopefully it's going to really open up some doors for her, um, give her some more clear direction. You know, she's went to Bradley um, and which was really awesome. And so it's like, you know, we're just kind of, I know Caitlin's trying to put together all the pieces of, you know, what's God doing. And, um, you know, this is just another piece of that for her. Um, and so, yeah, I hope right. that gives like a good yeah, overview yeah, of these overview. teams. And so so a, lot of, a lot of lectures, a lot of, a lot of training, a lot mm -hmm. of sitting with other pastors and leaders mm -hmm. pouring into you. So we've been taking a lot of notes. In fact, we're, when we finish this podcast, um, I get, <laughs> I get the lecture, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> Have so fun. And what I've done for my lectures, I've actually talked to all the other ones that have lectured you, and I got all their notes, and I'm giving you a test. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm that's... kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, so, um, so you're going to be traveling now these mm -hmm. the, the next seven months. Are um, locally, um, across the United States, or is, uh, various, a lot of different churches and ministries, that, and um, right? So mm -hmm. a little bit of, a little bit of everything yeah. then? Yeah, so yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this year she actually, so last year we weren't able to do this, um, but this year she is going to be traveling to England um, oh, and wow. partnering with the church there. So that's going to be really me up awesome. Race team. I know, I know. <laughs> um, which it was something that, you know, we, we knew we wanted to kind of make a part of the program is just that opportunity to go um, experience another culture, a different context completely of ministry. Um, so that'll be pretty big. That's like right in the beginning. So she'll be here locally for a month and then she'll leave, okay. do that, come back. She'll be in Chicago. Um, and she'll be kind of all over the place. She's going to be going to Minnesota, Ohio, um, and then back here um, and just serving um, some churches around here. So yeah, Excellent. it'll be I actually good, was a youth pastor in Ohio. Oh, you right. And I, I spent some time in London. And when I say that, I spent 24 hours there. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. To Africa and um, had 24 hour layover. Oh I stayed gosh. in a hotel room that was about as big as um, a table. duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a really small room, and yeah. but it was cool because I did in 24 hours. I did everything. That's awesome. I mean, I, I rode the double decker bus. I did the tours. I walked around town. I, I took pictures of all the sites <laughs> and saw Big Ben and went over the London Bridge yeah. and um, That's cool. ate at a pub and had fish and chips. I mean, all the yeah. I did it all in 24 hours. <laughs> That's awesome. So. Um, <laughs> Wow. Well, well, way cool. So why don't you tell us then, um, Caitlin, mm -hmm. um, I mean, the last three months has been a lot of lectures. So what's kind of been a typical week for you? 
So a typical week, um, every single day I have different lectures with different people. And so like in the morning, uh, we'll have one session, then we'll have a little break, and then another session, a break, and then another session, and then I'll have lunch. And then um, usually after that, I'll have some study time because I do an online uh, Bible college course as well. Okay. And so um, I have study time, and then I'll see Elena for like a mentor one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the online Bible thing, is that through Ace Teams, or is that... Is that separate? That's through ACE Teams. Okay. Um, it, it's but we partner part of with the... West Coast. Okay. Um, so it's a Bible college online. Um, and it just makes a, a, with the program, it's not as like in depth. It's a lot more, um, I'd say, lighthearted um, because she is so busy. So we mm -hmm. wanted something that's going to, you know, encourage her growth and with education through the program, yeah. um, but also not be so overwhelming that it's like, this isn't going to, you know, she has, especially when she goes on the road, she's going to have pretty packed days. Um, so <laughs> we experienced that last month. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so when she goes on the road, does she go alone or do you go with her? She'll be going alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Now what an opportunity, what a, what a um, opportunity to, to be, to be educated, to get some experience. I mean, you're going to experience a lot of things that, oh, yeah. um, most people don't get to experience, not just from one-on-one -on -one lectures and, and studies, but I mean the Bible college and mm -hmm. traveling now a, a abroad and, and serving in different capacities at a different church. I mean, you'll, you'll be ready to plant a church probably when you... <laughs> when I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well um, speaking of traveling, you were able to, and both of you, to spend some time at Dream Center in L.A. And of course, mm -hmm. you, Ace Teams is under the umbrella of Dream Center Peoria, which was inspired by Dream. I mean, Dream Center L.A. is mm -hmm. the, um, I mean, really the foundation for all the Dream Centers that are out there. How was it? So tell us a little bit about L.A. and going to Dream Center. There. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> that was, well, I had gone when I was a little bit younger. And so um, I guess I was just expecting kind of the same thing, you know, like doing service projects, packing up food, passing it out. Um, but I think this time it was a lot more in depth because now I am older and I can uh, perceive a lot more. And so throughout the week there, we actually did um, several different service projects. So one of them was like doing their equivalent to Metro Kids here. Okay. And then... Um, uh, we did like a grocery distribution to so, like loading up these giant trucks with like a bunch of food and then going out to different sites and passing out groceries to the people lined up there. And there were quite a few people and yeah. we did that a couple times. Mm -hmm. And then um, we did, let's see, we had like prayer meetings, we had church services and I'm trying to think, what was another thing we did? Well, I would say the, probably like the most predominant thing that we did do was the food truck but we mm -hmm. also did like they had a ministry called foster care intervention where they go in um they partner with dcfs in their area or caseworkers or i'm not mm -hmm. exactly sure how they do it um but they find these families who have these needs um for to in order to keep their children they need certain things to keep them and so then dream center comes in with donations and they'll set up like we went and we set up like a bed um, we set up some furniture, some dressers and different things that, you know, would allow this mom, this single mom to keep her children. And so that was really amazing. It was a cool experience. And it's really neat that they do that. They partner with, you know, all these different people to, mm -hmm. um, their main goal is to keep families together. And so that was really awesome. Um, we did, I mean, street ministry, street ministry, going out, passing out food, um, to homeless and, um, I mean, it's, it's just on another level there, mm -hmm. you know, their, I mean, their needs are like, so just, you can see it, you, you know, walk outside and it's just everywhere. Everywhere. Um, well, one, of the, so. one of the slogans that we, I've had Andy, <clears throat> Andy King director or, um, a, a big part of the dream center Peoria. I've had him on the podcast before. In fact, he's, he's on next week. So, oh, um, so. <laughs> but, um, one of the things that I remember that he said is find a need, meet a need, mm -hmm. find a need, meet a need. And so many needs mm -hmm. in Peoria, so many needs in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, it's just um, kind of mind-boggling all that the Dream Center L.A. is able to accomplish. And, um, uh, you know, I follow Matthew Barnett mm -hmm. on, on social media, who is the pastor of Angelus Temple, mm -hmm. you know, one of the, the founders, along with his dad, Tommy Barnett. Mm -hmm. 
for who's from Phoenix. Um, <laughs> and um, in fact, um, Matthew Barnett endorsed my book, 41 Will Come, which is kind of cool. Oh, awesome. And I've always wanted awesome. to go out there and haven't been able to. And were you able to, to go to Angela's Temple then to, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do a service there? Mm -hmm. is, a, is that pretty cool? Yeah, it, it was. was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. I'm a fan. <laughs> um, and, um, but wow, so you spent uh, about a week in L.A. and um, came back, and now you're getting ready to, to man, go to go to Europe and oh yeah <laughs> way cool well um, let me ask you um, a personal question then Caitlin why was it so important um, for you to to give up a year of your life to sign up for race teams I mean you had Bradley three years and then what what did it for you was there was there a, was it a nudging of the Holy Spirit was it something I mean what why was it so important for you to say you know what I'm gonna just gonna take the next 12 months and I'm gonna serve race teams well, for me, I grew up in a Christian home, and so, I mean, I've always known the Lord, and I've always, you know, just been raised in that structure, um, but when I moved out on my own, I became very independent, you know, being away at college, for all the way from Arizona, um, here in Illinois, and so, I mean, I had gone to church, I had been, you know, building friendships with the ACE teamers from last year, and so I, I found myself growing more spiritually and more um, independently and emotionally, just like all these ways I'm growing. Um, but about second semester of my junior year at Bradley, I kind of got to a place where I was like, you know, I've, I'm not really growing as much as I want to be, and I'm not really stepping out as much as I want to as well. And I was in a place where is this even what I want to be doing anymore? Um, so more of trying to find out like what I'm being called to do. Um, Cause everything that I had gone to Bradley for, like that's something I've dreamed since I was a little girl. But what I realized is God was not necessarily at the center of it. And if mm. he wasn't at the center of it, then what was it for in the end? Um, and so t going to ACE teams, I think, is going to um, just basically help me figure things out, um, sort through my identity and kind of look th through new interests I might have or maybe even just establish like a new um, inspired thing for this dream I had. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it, especially for those listening or watching right now. What dream has God placed in your heart? What's he calling you to do? It's never too late to step out. And faith, and that's what, you, what you've done. You're just like, you know what? I've gone to school. I came here to go to school, but now God has this, so I'm going to do this. So I commend you for stepping out in faith and following <laughs> what you believe God has placed within your heart. We know that Proverbs 16.3 is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. So um, it's awesome to, to have you sitting here. I used to direct a, an internship program for a national youth ministry in Oklahoma before I planted Rock Church. And I was an intern, and then ended up leading the internship program and um, where young people would come in. So I, I know it's for, for you, Elena, it's got to be rewarding. You, you serve, now you're leading, and to see somebody like Caitlin step out in faith, and now you're doing, you're doing this together. You're living, living your dream, and, and now you're, you are, um, you're trained up and now ready to go to that next step. And it's um, pretty cool to think about the relationships that are going to be established over the next six months, I mean, over the next seven months, you know, the people you're going to meet, the things you're going to see, what you're going to learn to really shape you for the rest of your life. So I'm proud of you for stepping out and, and give, being willing to give up a year of your life yeah. to, to serve the Lord, you know, and Elena is a living example of what happens when you do that. So, um, Real quick, well, before we only have um, about a minute or so left, um, favorite part so far? You've been in three months. What's favorite thing so far of Ace Teams? Probably the L.A. trip. I mean, November we traveled around quite a bit, but the L.A. trip was pretty, like, amazing. Yeah, just... I think that would probably be my answer, too. Yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, Elena, what's the most rewarding thing for you in, in leading Ace Teams? Um, I guess just seeing Caitlin – you know, I'm getting to walk this journey with her and just seeing where she, even now where she started off and where she is now, I just, she's grown so much in her confidence and just, um, I just love seeing her dive deeper into who she is and who God is and, um, just taking that seriously, you know, cause a lot of people don't. Um, and so it is just rewarding to be able to walk alongside her and encourage her in that. And, you know, I always tell her like, I'm along the journey with you, you know, I'm still learning, I'm still growing. Um, and you were very much doing this together. And so it's, that's just the best part. So I love it and love Caitlin and it's an honor and a privilege. So awesome. Well, how can people learn more about ACE teams? Well, 
they can go to thisisaceteams.com, um, and that's kind of the starting point. It gives you a kind of a vague, um, you know, description of what Ace Teams is, um, just a brief overview. And then if you want to, you know, go ahead and apply, you can go right there. There's a link at the end. Um, but I have my email there and people can email me for more information directly. Um, a lot of students and kind of how Caitlin, um, things came about is I've had students just reach out to me, um, and I'll meet for coffee and just go a little more in depth and explain kind of, I like to always see where someone's at and, you know, what, what's God telling you, um, you know, where are you at in your life and, you know, just kind of go from there. And so that's kind of the starting point is just going to this is ace teams.com and, um, check it out, mm -hmm, right? checking it out. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for, for being here today and being on the... Thank you for having, thank you for having us. us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me pray for you guys real quick and um, pray for those of you that are, are watching and listening and maybe you have a dream in your heart and and um, you're just kind of on the fence and you feel like you're supposed to step out and you're afraid. And um, so the motto is, be like Caitlin. All right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and pray. All right, Father, we just thank you so much for the opportunity I've had to, to sit down with Elena and Caitlin and for their willingness to, to share their heart, to share their vision, to share what they're learning and how they're being discipled and things that you've done in their life and through them. And we just, um, we specifically commit Caitlin's future to you as she prepares to begin traveling and go to England and, and uh, you know, several other places. We thank you that you've already gone on ahead of her. You've already set up divine appointments. You've set things into motion. We thank you, God, that you're going to continue to grow her and and do work in her heart and do great things in her and through her. And thank you for Elena. We ask you to just to, to bless her. She continues to, to, to lead ACE teams. We thank you that you have already gone on ahead to set up the the right um, students and individuals that um, will be joining the program, perhaps maybe even somebody that's watching or listening today. And I specifically now lift up those that are listening that have a dream in their heart and maybe they've been afraid to step out like Caitlin has stepped out or like Elena stepped out. And I just pray that, that you will fuel their faith, that you will reassure them that you are with them we thank you, God, that our steps are ordered of you. So we commit our future to you. We commit our plans to you. Your word says in Proverbs 16, 3, commit to the Lord whatever we do, whatever it is, and our plans will succeed. Because, God, when we take our plans and we make them your plans, your plans don't fail. So we just thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So more information about Ace Teams, go to this is Ace Teams, this is my Ace Teams. What is, what's the website again? This is Ace Teams. This, <laughs> this is Ace Teams dot com. So my guest has been Elena Shafley and Caitlin Apuan. Did I say it right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> the guy with the hearing aids got it right. <laughs> and um, our, <laughs> our producer is Mike Sable. I'm Chuck Tate. We look forward to seeing you next week on 41 Strong, where my guest will be Andy King. Bye-bye. PeoriaLife.com.